have you ever won a lottery? I never have, not even the smallest one. So I'm always jealous of people who have a very lucky hand. But do you know there are some people who are even luckier? They win the genetic lottery. So some of those people discovered in 2005, they were from Texas in USA. So they are very well protected from having heart attack, even though they eat giant burgers, lots of chips every day. But how? Because they carry a genetic mutation that gives them very low LDL cholesterol levels, the kind that, when it's high, can lead to heart disease. Now, we're pretty clear of the genetic mutation those Texas lucky guys have. It's inside a gene called PCSK9. Those people who carry the mutation, they cannot produce PCSK9 protein. They have been shown to be healthy, fertile, and enjoy ultra-low LDL cholesterol. And most importantly, absence of cardiovascular disease. This mutation is very rare. It's limited to few families. So most of us are still struggling to go to gym and to eat lattes and pills in order to keep away from having a heart attack. So we had this dream. Can we make the average person like that person who in the genetic lottery and is protected against a heart attack? So we had some idea when we were working on a gen new genome editing technology. We were able to use this to precisely edit the genome called CRISPR-Cas9. So our genome is like a giant book. It's not always perfectly written. Sometimes we need to delete a paragraph or to correct some errors. So CRISPRs are like glasses, erasers, or pens. So we could design it to specifically recognize a genome locus. Then it will cut their erase original information right into the new one. In this specific case, we will need to delete the PCSK9 paragraph to mimic what those lucky guys have in their genome book. So we will need to apply this technique in vivo. So we realized that we could use a virus to deliver CRISPR system. So those are bioengineered viruses. So original virus genome has been replaced by the genetic material we wanted to deliver. So they are here served as transporting trucks. So very high efficient and very safe to deliver genetic cargoes in vivo. Therefore, if we could deliver CRISPR specifically to our liver cells where PCSK9 is primarily expressed, and then we will be able to use it to edit our liver cells, then to replicate those good defects those lucky guys have to ourselves to protect heart attack. So we decided to te test this. The first question would be whether we could actually deliver CRISPR to in vivo to liver cells. And once we got it there, would it function properly? So the answer, luckily, is yes. So we designed a CRISPR targeting mouse PCSK9 gene to mouse liver cells three to four days after delivering. We found that the majority of the PCSK9 gene copies in all of the liver cells has been disrupted. And what we hope to say next is the much less product, protein product in the bloodstream, which is exactly what we saw. So more remarkably, we found a reduction, a 40% reduction in the blood cholesterol, which would translate into human heart risk reduction of as high as 90%. And remember, this is a permanent change we made in the genome. So it could be a single shot treatment to a lifelong protection against heart attack. And I'd like to mention it here, because this mutation is introduced to somatic cells, liver cells here, so it's not passing to offsprings. So this is pretty exciting, right? But we're not yet to testing human yet, because we need to make sure we're not introducing other arrows to the genome. We need to figure out the safety before we test the therapies in patients. So we're making some progresses. We have generated a mouse with human liver. So with humanized mouse, we will be able to test the targeting against the human gene in normal human cells to give precise preclinical insights into the efficacy and safety of CRISPR targeting. A lot of new delivery methods or new animal models are being used by us as well as many other labs in the lab. So we're, we're confident that one day, this CRISPR technology or genome editing technology will eventually work on breathing human beings. Not only we could intro introduce protective variants, but we could use it to correct disease-causing mutations at the genome level from the source permanently. So this is a dream with genome editing technology or genome editing therapy. We could one day be vaccinated from heart disease, from HIV attack, and we could eradicate many genetic diseases, homophilia, glycogen storage disease, motor neuron disease. It would be a much better world. Thanks.